You've known it your entire life, deep divers, haven't you? That something is wrong with the world. Something doesn't seem right, Ralph. Like something is really fishy on this planet. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can smell some lies. That's right. A lot of people write to me telling me that like they know right now in this matrix, their whole entire life has been a lie. Like deep divers, I'm with you there because I know they lied to me. They lied to the cat down the road like we have all been lied to. But once you find out the truth, oh baby, it is the best feeling ever. Totally worth it. <laughs>
To be scientific, the third eye is actually the pineal gland. It's actually a physical reality in your body. The pineal gland produces melatonin, which actually governs your circadian rhythm, the sleep and wake cycles. And that's why when you are sun gazing, when you are out in the sun, you are actually charging up the pineal gland, thus strengthening your third eye. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Now, how do we know our third eye is opening? Well, let's just talk about the pineal gland, which the ancients in ancient Kemet or Egypt, they said was the seat of the soul, okay? The pineal gland is responsible for you having altered states of consciousness. DMT, the spirit molecule. Everything is happening in your pineal gland. In this matrix, they want your pineal gland calcified. You begin to decalcify your pineal gland when you are eating to live, seven day vegan challenge. When you are taking fluoride out of the water, because fluoride actually calcifies your pineal gland, thus inhibiting, inhibiting your third eye. So to know your third eye is opening, you got to be like, hey, right now I'm drinking pH 9, pH 10 water, getting the body alkaline, eating, eating leafy greens, kale, spinach, arugula, getting your body right, raising your frequency and vibration. And that's how to know if your third eye is truly opening. Because if you're not eating right, you're not thinking right. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Okay, so how do you know? Deep divers, your third eye or the first eye is opening. Recognize this today. The third eye deals with clairvoyance, which is clear sight, okay? Clear sight. In ancient times, you had oracles, okay? In the temple of Delphi, okay? Temple of Apollo, okay? <laughs> if you realize the oracles were able to see what was going to happen before it actually did happen, why? Because their third eye or the first eye was open. The third eye or the first eye is a gateway between this world and the world beyond. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Say it again, Ralph. The third eye or the first eye is a gateway between this world and the world beyond. And the world beyond, or let me say this another way. The third eye is a gateway between this matrix and the world within. Because once again, deep divers, there is no world out there. They've got you believing in the world out there. It's all fake. The only true world is the world within yourself. Mm. Oh, baby. Okay. How to know your third eye is opening. If you have clairvoyance, if you have clear sight, if you can see things before they happen, if you can see beyond the physical, many people have had out-of-body experiences. They've taken DMT trips. They've taken ayahuasca to realize this reality is not the only reality in existence. Once again, deep divers, we are only seeing 0.0035% of the electromagnetic spectrum, which is visible light. In other words, we are practically blind. And you are claiming to know the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Deep divers, I know, I know nothing. And that's how to know your third eye is opening. The great Krishnamurti, one of my mentors would always say that you have to let go of fixed ways of thinking and feeling. You have been programmed in this matrix through religion, through the television, through news, media, entertainment. They've got you drinking the Kool-Aid. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. 
But once you turn off the television, you turn off the computer, you turn off the phone, and now you switch on yourself, your mind, that's how to know your third eye is opening. When you are more interested in having inner experiences than outer experiences, okay? So it's all about seeing beyond the physical. A lot of people who are understanding, understanding, overstanding that this body is just a vehicle. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful vehicle, right? Takes you from A to B, but it's just a vehicle. It's the soul inside that matters. That's why in ancient Egypt, they talked about the car bar, the spirit body. We are spirit in form. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And our spirit is immortal. I'm immortal, deep divers. I can't die because I'm immortal. My spirit lives on forever. Oh, baby. <laughs> How to know your third eye is opening deep divers. Let's do a little samba, baby. <laughs> Clear hearing. Clear audience. If you can hear things other people can't right now on the planet. Because sometimes, let's face it, deep divers, we're in a household where some people are asleep, plugged into the matrix. And it just so happens that they've got the news on. And they're really believing everything the news reporter is saying. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's a pack of lies. But they, they, they don't hear it that way. They don't hear it that way, deep divers. They're like just drinking the Kool-Aid. If you can hear things differently, that's how to know your third eye or your first eye is opening. For instance, I'm a musician as well. And in music, there's actually, in jazz, there's something called the blue note, okay? The likes of Quincy Jones talk of the blue note being the note that you couldn't really, only a few people had the ear to actually hear it, okay? If you realize this, that there are layers, like there are levels to this shit, there, there are layers to this shit, okay? Some people listen to a song and they only hear the lyrics. Some people listen to a song and they hear the beat. Some people listen to, to the song and hear the whole energy. Let me give you another example. Some people, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, deep divers, okay? Some people listen to what I'm saying right now in these videos. Some people can feel the energy. Oh my gosh, deep divers. I always say this. You know your third eye is opening when it's less about words and what they're saying. It's more about the energy that is emanating from them. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. That's how to know your third eye is opening. You can feel people's energy. You have clairsentience, which is clear feeling. You can feel people's energy. That's why a lot of empaths, intuitive empaths, they were born with their third eyes open because they have empathy. They have compassion. They can tap into other people's emotional states. That's actually a superpower. I'm a Pisces deep divers. I'm naturally caring. I'll massage your back. I'll massage your feet. No, I won't. Put your, put your socks back on. Deep divers? This ain't a breakfast club? Now. <laughs> clear feeling okay the ability to feel clearly you can be with someone and just the mere act of both of you being in the same room is more intimate than actually making love because you can feel their entire presence clear feeling you can feel beyond the surface okay some people might look at someone and think oh that's an ugly person but you can actually feel that person's energy so you're like no they're a beautiful person mm. slow motion this side mm. that's how to know oh baby <laughs> your third eye is opening you see deep divers in this matrix they've got so many of us caught up in time 
Time is man-made. There is no time in the universe, there is only movement. That's why the ancients knew the past, present and the future are all happening simultaneously. In other words, there is only now. If you realize there is only now this moment, that's how to know your third eye is opening. If you are stuck in the past or dreaming of a future that actually hasn't taken place, you're still in the matrix. There is no back then or what's to come. No, there is only right now. And if you are living in the present moment through meditation every single day, that's how to know your third eye is opening. If you are detaching from this concrete jungle, like Bob Marley said, that's how to know your third eye is opening. You see, you truly know when your third eye is opening. Enlightenment is not something peaceful. It is not something which makes you feel good at first. It is very destructive. That's why Shiva, when the third eye opened, the destroyer, everything gets destroyed. When you open the first eye, the third eye, your old reality gets destroyed. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And the good news, a new reality is born. How to open your third eye. Deep divers, how to know it's already opening. A lot of us, we go on these social media apps, right? And a lot of us get trapped in them. Oh my gosh. No, your third eye is opening <laughs> when you are interfacing a lot less with this and more with this. In other words, you are coming out into nature just woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. You're having more organic experiences. Today's reality, fast car stuck in traffic, fancy phone, no connection, big house, no people in it. New watch, I don't have time. <laughs> That's the matrix for you deep divers, right? But you know your third eye is opening when you crave more organic experiences. When you crave being in nature, because you know, you know deep divers, only nature can heal you. This matrix cannot heal you. This matrix will destroy you. Only nature can give you life. And that's why I'm in nature every single day. Deep divers, how to know your third eye is opening. You have foresight, okay? That's key. If you can, once again, see things before they happen, like predicting the weather, I know what's gonna happen next. That's how to know your third eye is opening, if you are very intuitive. If you realize, deep divers, there is something called precognitive dream. If you have precognitive dreams, meaning that you dream about something and then it ends up happening, that's how to know your third eye is opening. Why? Because your dream state is actually real. And your third eye, once it's opened, you start downloading all the information in your dreams. You can see how this all plays out. And that's why the great sages would just sleep a lot because they would be they would be having dreams, deep divers, downloading all of this wisdom and information. People would ask them a question and they'll be like, oh, I know the answer and do a little samba, baby. Right. How to know your third eye is opening deep divers. Oh, baby. Now, seven day vegan challenge. Shout out to everybody who is eating to live right now. The moment. I became a vegan deep divers, which is almost 15 years ago. My third eye started to open. And I meet people all around the world who are like, Ralph, ever since I stopped eating meat, I started to get massive downloads. I started to realize that actually animals are sentient life forms who actually want to live. I started to realize what goes around comes around. I started to realize, Ralph, when you are eating to live fresh fruits and vegetables, you're actually changing your DNA, thus changing what you become. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Deep divers. When I'm eating plant-based, which is every single day for the last 15 years, 
I'm becoming more sensitive. And that's how to know your third eye is opening. When you are getting more sensitivity through the foods you are eating. When I was on the slave diet, eating processed meats, I was fast asleep. Eating hot dogs, all of that crap. I was asleep. I became awake. The first eye opened when I started to eat to live. Shout out to Dr. Sabi. How to know deep divers, your third eye is opening. It's all about the inner experience. How you feel inside matters more than what you show to the outside world. Oh, baby. Right? That's how to know your third eye is opening. Like deep divers, let's keep it real. Are you living for the outside or are you living for the inside? Because if you are living for the outside, chances are your third eye ain't opened. You just want likes, followers, subscribers, all of that stuff, matrix stuff. But you know your third eye is opening when you are beginning to let that go. When you are beginning to let ego go and you start to realize the interconnectedness between everything around you. I am nature and nature is me, baby. How to know deep divers, your third eye is opening. If you are choosing love over fear, congratulations. They keep you trapped in this matrix, the archons, by fear, which is false evidence appearing real. They are masteries of trickery. But if you are choosing love over fear today because love is the higher frequency, congratulations, your third eye is opening. Deep divers, if you are starting to realize, wait a minute, wait a minute, Ralph, I'm not the only one because I flew across the world and I met other people who see the world exactly like I do, Ralph, like we're both going through this massive awakening experience. I thought I was crazy, Ralph. No, I was just waking up. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. You've been right all along, deep divers, that this is all an illusion. That's how to know your third eye is opening. If you are questioning your reality every single day, if you have a hunger to evolve, to learn, if you are letting go of the BS, which is the belief systems, and stepping into the truth of who you really are, which is pure energy. Oh, baby, not only is your third eye opening, but the cat down the road is really proud of you. And that's why we're just saying, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Beautiful deep divers were just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everybody who's been getting the amazing good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash close. Got a question, deep divers, add me on Instagram at infinite waters. And the model searches on if you are a sexy model, woo, with a lot of heart, add me on Instagram at Infinite Waters. Check out the new book, Deep Divers, for information like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon. Deep Divers, there is no world out there. The only world is within yourself. Have a beautiful day. Peace. Infinite Waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You, the truth shall set you free. Peace.